Okay, today's video we are talking about how do we bring new things into our horse, like whatever that might be. And not even new things, like it could be everyday things like your saddle, right? Your tack, your, your tools. How do we introduce uh, those type, that stimulus to our horses? What's the correct way according to our horse? Like what does your horse need to, to know? But bef so let's, let's talk about that while we're, we're right here. This is uh, Jack's. And uh, he's a friend of mine's horse, and he's kind of like your ranch and rope horse. That would be kind of his job, ranch work. Uh, he does some uh, uh, guided trail rides, so he's, he's kind of the, the guide horse on that. So he's been around, done a few things, so nothing shouldn't be too terribly new to him, but we're just going to ask some questions. But So how Jax interprets the world, right? how our horses interpret all of the stuff around them as, as they get up close to them, as you guys remember, three things will trigger our horses, sight, sound, and touch. And so this is a, a great tool that all three of those, we can bring them into safety. So we'll talk about how it's going to happen. So what Jax is going to want to do, first he's going to have a sight trigger, right? He's going to see the thing, right? Uh, whatever it is. And it's going to move. It's going to come towards him. So there's a sight trigger. And then the next thing, you know, it starts getting closer, it might make some noise. So there's the sound. That's going to alert his attention. And then the last sensory that it comes into him is, is touch. So allowing Jax the space to touch the thing is so much more impactful than the thing touching Jax. So what we want to do is we want to present the thing or the stimulus, whatever it is we're bringing in, and we want to give our horse opportunity to touch it with these uh, vibrisi, right? These little whiskers right here on the side of the muzzle. These little guys right here is how Jax interprets and feels the world, right? Feels all of the things. So we want to give Jax time that he can have those vibrisi touch on the thing. Now it looks like he's smelling it, right? And that's what our mind will describe first off is like, oh, you got to let him smell it. Well, that's not wrong, but your horse smelt the thing you know, long before it got that far away from his nose. So what they're doing, they want to touch. They're looking for that sensory of touch. That's just kind of their last line of defense, right? It's this close, like here's the touch part. So we want to allow time for jacks to do that. So I like to bring things in, whatever it is, and I want to be lower than their muzzle, and I want to keep it kind of off to the side where they can have an eye on it, and then I want jacks to come and find it. But I don't want him to seek it out and touch it versus me push it over there and say, you know, here, touch it, touch it. So let's do a, just a couple little experiments, but first off, let's talk about what doesn't happen if we don't do this? We'll demo that too. Like if I go get the new thing and I'm bringing it in here to Jack's and as soon as Jack sees it and then hears it, if it makes any noise, prior to it coming in and touching him, right, there's gonna be some, some awareness, right? Some caution. If I don't allow him to touch the thing, you know, if I just kind of boogie around and go put it in there, if that thing caused him a little alarm, it's gonna cause him a lot of alarm. You know, when it comes in and starts touching him or being put on him, if he gets a little triggered. So we're going to start off with just this, uh, we'll start with this, uh, this wheelbarrow, this, this big movable muck bucket. And uh, I'm just going to take this and, you know, if I just bring it right around here to Jack's, ooh, see, what did he say already? <laughs> I'll move, come here up here. Come here, Jack's. So as soon as I... Like just pointed that thing at his shoulder, he was like, no, I'm leaving. You know, he's like, I'm out of here. So right that sight trigger of it moving, the sound of it even moving. And then when it got close enough to touch, he was like, no, not doing that. So how can we help that out? So let's just slow this down. And we're going to just bring this thing up. And instead of me just trying to head right there past him, what if I come in here right about there? He looks like he kind of wants to take a look at it. And then what if I leave him alone right here and just ask his attention to stay right here? That is called curiosity. And curiosity is one of the most powerful neurochemicals, you know, that we can create in our horses. This not curiosity is not a neurochemical, but you know, that that want to, that that seeking out and finding, that that curious about the thing. Like he's just touched it a couple of times and I can keep his attention over here, right? This is how he's going to decide this is okay is through touching it. 
So I had a couple little touch experiences right there. Let's just try this out again. So now if I bring this around, I come around here to his shoulder, I want to get right about where he's kind of there, right in there. He's definitely aware of it. Now I just want to let him have a moment to touch. I got to work his attention. See how his attention, he's kind of away from me. What can I do to help him be more attentive with me right here? Because I want him to go down and touch this wheelbarrow. And then I can probably have the wheelbarrow touch him, you know, without it being very triggering. So there, we're just going to allow that time, allow the caution to go away, let the curiosity build. There's our licking and chewing. You know, that's what we're wanting to have is this, this reset, this back to safety. So if I slow this down and just let him have a multitude of little safe experiences. Let's try this right here. Just allow his attention to stay right here with the thing and just be curious. Build that curiosity up until we've got some really good confidence. And then this thing, right, will be able to touch our horse. We just got to let them to where they touch it first. So notice how I'm keeping his attention. Like if his attention wanders, then this thing doesn't exist and we're, we're not doing any work. You know, I've got to keep him, him here with me. So every time I notice that he leaves, I'm just asking for some attention because I want to get his attention down to this thing. Now this is the first time that Jackson and I have done this. So, you know, doing this a lot, becomes a real easy setup that anything you've got new for your horse or anything that you're trying to introduce your horse to, you just kind of present it to them and then that curiosity will drive them to go find it, to go be okay with it. We're just gonna wait a little longer here. He keeps getting more and more relaxed. Here we go, there's curiosity again. See, our horses are just like right now, like <laughs> Jacks can't recognize this and go, oh, I got it, West. That's the same uh, wheelbarrow that they clean my stall with every freaking day for the last two months, <laughs> right? Jacks can't have that thought. It's a new moment, it's, it's right now, and he's just reflecting what he feels like. If he feels cautious, head up and, and spooky, flinchy and jumpy. If he's feeling alert, calm and quiet then you know we can be confident and, and hang out right here with the thing so curiosity is the tool that you want to be building with new stuff so awesome we're going to grab one more new thing and let's just bring it in and we'll see how this goes but look look how licking and chewing he's like oh man maybe there's even a snack in here i, I might find something to nibble on Awesome. So now if I just take this cart, right, it should be pretty okay in his world. Can we just go for a walk with this cart now? Look how he's, hold up right there. Look how he's like right next to it with his shoulder where at first I just tried to put it over by his shoulder and he left and ran around it. And now look, he's just walking with it. Try this side. Oh boy. I mean, he's aware of it. It's, it's maybe not his favorite to uh, like a bell of hay to snack on, but he's not fearful and triggery of it now, right? He's touched it. This will be you know, the fourth time that he's gone in and explored and touched the thing set this pattern up over and over and over and over your horses will just be so dang wanting to touch everything and get to calmness instead of be cautious of everything and staying crazy so have some fun building some get you'll get some curiosity so the thing that we, that we have at the ranch is that curiosity is the bridge to confidence so building this curiosity getting your horse curious about things to where they want to go seek them out and find them that's what will build confidence all the things that you want to have in your horse, so enjoy.